There was never a rivalry like theirs. For nearly half a century, they hated each other, and we loved them for it. You know, they only made one film together. And how that happened, and what happened afterwards, well... <laughs> well, that was a story and a feud of biblical proportions. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. In a rare break from tradition, I've become interested recently in television, and specifically in the case of Feud, and specifically in Olivia de Havilland's case against the makers of Feud. Now, you may follow this, you may not. Here's a brief recap. Feud tells the story of the long-standing feud between Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, and in it, a bunch of actors play other actors appearing to give interviews. So, for example, Catherine Zeta-Jones plays Olivia de Havilland being interviewed about Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. Keeping up? Okay, fine. Well, it turns out that Olivia de Havilland, who had no involvement in the show at all, wasn't approached by the makers, was very offended by the portrayal of her in the series. Her lawyers said in their deposition, the FX series put words in the mouth of Mr. Havilland which are inaccurate and contrary to the reputation she's built over an 80-year professional life, specifically refusing to engage in gossip mongering about other actors in order to generate media attention for herself. The lawyers went on to say that they objected to the fact that the character of Olivia de Havilland, played by Catherine Dieter Jones, referred to Joan Fontaine as a bitch and also commented on Frank Sinatra's drinking habits. Now, a lot of people said, well, why is this such a big deal? Actually, she comes out of the drama pretty well. However, Olivia de Havilland was absolutely determined that this wasn't right. She said, we would never have said those kind of things. This is from a different age. This is a professional reputation that I built up and you have no right to besmirch it. Well, it's just turned out that the case has effectively been thrown out of court. A state appeals court in California said allowing the case to proceed would interfere with the author's rights to dramatize historical events. The creator of the series, Ryan Murphy, called it a victory for the creative community, which gives all creators the breathing room necessary to continue to tell important historical stories inspired by true events. The ruling goes on to say, whether a person portrayed in one of these expressive works is a world-renowned film star, a living legend, or a person no one knows, she or he does not own history, according to Judge Anne Egerton. Now, this is an interesting case. On the one hand, it seems to be a sort of freedom of expression, freedom of speech case. You know, why is it that something should have to be authorised? I do understand that. But Olivia de Havilland's point is rather complicated. She says, look, I would never have said those things. You have put words into my mouth that I would never have used. And although the company may say, well, they aren't that bad, to her, they are. To her, it's a principle. To her, her legacy is something over which she should have some kind of control. I don't think that the courts are the place to solve this kind of thing. And anyway, the case appears to be at an end now. But weirdly enough, I find myself siding with Olivia de Havilland. If she hadn't said those things, and if she wouldn't have said those things, why is it okay to portray her as saying them? Let me know what you think. Feuds are never about hate. Feuds are about pain. 